Hey guys, in today's video we will learn what are clients and what are servers. There are hundreds of millions of computers on the net, but they don't all do exactly the same thing. Some of them are like electronic filing cabinets that simply store information and pass it on when requested. These machines are called servers. There are tens of millions of servers on the internet, such as mail servers, file servers, and web servers. Mail server is a server that handles and delivers email over a network, usually over the internet. A mail server can receive emails from client computers and deliver them to other mail servers. And a mail server can also deliver emails to client computers. A client computer is normally the computer where you read your emails, such as Gmail and Hotmail. Mail servers send and receive email using standard email protocols. For example, the SMTP protocol sends messages and handles outgoing mail requests. The IMAP and POP3 protocols receive messages and are used to process incoming mail. File Server is a computer system that is responsible for storing and fetching all types of files such as audio file, images, video, database, and other documents, and these files are used by all client machines which are linked over the network. Now, a web server is a computer that runs websites, or it's a computer program that distributes web pages as they are requisitioned, delivering web pages to the users. This intercommunication is done using hypertext transfer protocol. These web pages are mostly static content that includes HTML documents, a web server also supports simple mail transfer protocol and file transfer protocol for emailing and for file transfer and storage. The main job of a web server is to display the website content. When you request for a website, by adding the URL or web address on a web browsers, like Chrome or Firefox, address bar, like www.google.com, the browser sends a request to the internet for viewing the corresponding web page for that address. And domain name server converts this URL to an IP address which computers understand, for example, 107.178.192.32 which in turn points to a web server. A computer that gets information from a server is called client. For instance, when a computer connects over the internet to a mail server at your internet service provider so you can read your messages, the computer is the client and the internet service provider is the server. When two computers on the internet swap information back and forth on a more or less equal basis, they are known as peers. If you use an instant messaging program to chat to a friend and you start swapping party photos back and forth, you're taking part in what's called peer-to-peer -peer communication. In peer-to-peer, -peer, the machines involved sometimes act as clients and sometimes as servers. For example, if you send a photo to your friend, your computer is the server supplying the photo and the friend's computer is the client accessing the photo. If your friend sends you a photo in return, the two computers swap over roles. Apart from clients and servers, the internet is also made up of intermediate computers called routers, whose job is really just to make connections between different systems. Thank you for watching this far, if you liked the video, please throw us some likes and share the video so that other people learn.